children are vulnerable for a disease that we can prevent. But I remember when I got vaccinated, it's just like liberating. There was a sense of kind of superpowers, you know, and there's no reason for kids not to do that because it is safe. Hi, I'm Ozzy Granardo, and I'm a family medicine physician. My name is Rusha Lev. I'm a pediatrician. Politha Apple. I'm a public health nurse. My name is Marianne Schultz. I am a pediatric nurse practitioner. I am Edwin Asturias, professor of pediatrics and epidemiology. Dr. Shannon Hill, family physician in Broomfield. In my role as a nurse, I provide education on preventing illness. And right now our children are vulnerable for this illness. So for us as providers, we want to make sure that kids are protected. Most children who get COVID-19 don't get severely ill. And that's really been a blessing with this pandemic. It is not true that kids can't get severely ill. As an infectious disease doctor practicing at the Children's Hospital of Colorado, we have seen adolescents very sick in the hospital and in the intensive care unit with pneumonia and severe infections from coronavirus. You know, people under 20 might not be dying from this illness at the same rate as adults. They're getting long-term issues and they're too young to be doing that for 80 years. Initially, with the sort of original COVID variant, there was less of a concern about kids both getting infected and spreading. Delta has changed the rules on that and it seems to be equally as infectious in children as it is in adults. Getting your kids vaccinated, other than preventing them from being seriously ill, is that it helps prevent new, more serious variants from emerging. And that's really important. So the less we spread this around to everybody, the more lives we save. But honestly, when you look at the vaccines that we give now, I mean, there's not a lot of risk of polio right now. But we still vaccinate because, God forbid, we don't want it to come back like measles did when people didn't vaccinate. The new Pfizer vaccine that was approved for children and uses one third of the dose that we use in adults has been shown to be very effective and very safe to be given to children 5 to 11 years of age. The vaccine is safe while it is a new vaccine, is not new technology, and actually has many years of being tested. It's one of the most well-studied vaccines we've ever had, and certainly one of the most effective and most safe vaccines. So the mRNA vaccine works to teach your body what the coronavirus looks like. And it preps your body so that if you encounter the virus later, your body knows how to fight it off. It says, hey, I know what that is, and you're not allowed to be in here. So similar to the polio vaccine or the tetanus vaccine or the vaccines against meningitis that we give babies, all those vaccines are designed to show the body information so that if it were to ever see the virus or bacteria in real life, it knows to fight it. You've already decided to do all of these early childhood vaccines and then the adolescent vaccines. This is just part of the same program. I understand many parents have concerns about the safety of this vaccine. I can reassure you that this vaccine has been given to millions of adults or adolescents and they have been safe. In fact, things like, for example, the inflammation of the heart is six to 10 times higher when you get the COVID infection that when you get the vaccine. Um, I have a 10-year-old, an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, and a two-year-old. I will absolutely vaccinate the three older ones. The younger one is not yet eligible. I get the vaccine for my child because I know it would prevent against COVID-19 infection. As a dad, I wanna make sure that my family's protected against the virus, and this is the best way we can do it. I have an eight-year-old son and a 10-year-old daughter, and we will be getting the vaccine. I feel that my job as a parent, again, my role is to use all the tools at my disposal to prevent them from becoming ill. I have a 10-year-old and a soon-to-be eight-year-old. They live in a high-risk household. Their dad is an ER doctor. Their mom is a family medicine doctor. My kids are a risk to other kids. They will be vaccinated the day it's available. So they're counting on all of us working as a big family and, and a caring and loving society that we protect each other.
In the past year and a half, our children have been separated from their peers and not been able to play and enjoy the wonders of school. Getting them vaccinated with the COVID vaccine will ensure that we bring them back to that beautiful learning and have a normal life so they can grow and develop at their best potential. I like to say uh, nobody likes to get sick and kids know this as well. We don't like to be sick, so it keeps us away from the things that we like to do. The COVID-19 vaccine really gives us an opportunity to stay in those activities. I think it's going to make sports activities, social activities, you know, birthday parties and sleepovers and things that kids have been missing out on. And I think if we can get a high level of vaccination rate among kids and keep our community level vaccination rate high, I think a lot of those things can be much more possible and safe to do. We know that if they are able to get this vaccine, they can go back to doing the things they love, playing with friends, safely attending school, and doing activities away from home so they can feel comfortable knowing that they're not gonna get sick. I want them to go back to being kids. I want them to go play soccer and not have to worry about when they go to sit on the bench, whether or not they're putting their mask on. Go hug their friends and their family without worrying that I might make somebody sick. Not only is it helping our children stay healthy, but it helps the other adults that are in the, our schools. So our employees, it helps keep them safe too. And that keeps us all in the activities that we enjoy and keeps kids being kids. I am recommending as a pediatrician and as an infectious disease specialist that all children five to 11 years of age get vaccinated with this fabulous vaccine now. COVID-19 vaccines can help kids be safe and allow them to get back to the freedom of just being kids. COVID vaccine. COVID-19 vaccine. COVID-19 vaccines. Help kids. Help kids be kids.